Playing music for a child's heart, body, and mind. Beautiful moments to you all. How do you do? This is grammar class. You are welcome to grammar class. Before we go into today's topic in grammar, I would want us to have a rerun on the topic we had last week in grammar. Our last topic was irregular verbs, if you can remember. And I said, irregular verbs are verbs that make their past tense by changing their verbs. I also said examples, some examples of irregular verbs are sit. What is the past tense of sit? It's sat. The vowel at the middle has been changed from I to A. Another example of an irregular verb, as we learned last week, is fall. And the past tense, when making the past tense of fall, it becomes fail. The letter A is changed from letter A to letter E. We gave another one as sweep. Sweep is a red, it's an irregular verb. The past tense becomes what? Sweeps. The sound is changed and letters are also what? Change. We also gave other examples. Children, I think I will leave you with this. Let's have an introduction on the topic we have today in grammar. We have a very fine topic in grammar today. I, would, I must tell you, very, very interesting. And the topic is compound words. What did I just say? Compound words. Now, what are compound words? Compound words are words that are made up of two or more words. Words that are made up of two or more words. Better still, we can also say, compound words are the combination of two or more words that function as a single unit meaning that function as a single unit of meaning, rather. Examples of compound words. Rain fall. I want you to have this in mind, that most compound words are made up of two nouns. We also have other compound words that are made up of other parts of speech. Like, as I said, I said rainfall is an example of compound word. If you look at this example, you find that there are two words. Rain and fall. Rain can stand on its own, while fall can also stand on its own. But this time they are coming together to form a unit coming together as one. Rain plus four, giving us rainfall. You can see the drama. So rainfall is a compound word. Bedroom, another good example of compound word. Bird, bed is a thing. It's a word that can stand on its own. The room is also another word that can stand on its own. Room and bed coming together to form one word, which gives us bedroom. So bedroom is a compound word. Cupcake. Cup is a noun, a word on its own. And cake, remember, birthday cake, cake, is another word of its own. So, bed, I mean cup, and cake coming together to form cupcake. Another good one is sunflower. Sun in the sky and flowers in the garden.
coming together to form a single word, a single unit, which gives us what? Sunflower. And there are other examples such as school bags, sand castle, snowman, breast milk, mailbox, safeguard. Oh, there are so many children. Fine, good. I know you have gotten this. Okay, do you know that interesting part of this compound word? There are other compound words that are more than two. There are three, but they are still known as what? Compound words. Examples of compound words that are more than one. There are more than two, yes. There are more than two. Fine children, that are more than two. One is merry-go-round. Merry-go-round. If you look at it, we have three words. Merry-go-round is an object that is found in the playground. It's just an object. But it has three words coming together to form one as compound words. If you look at it, merry-go-round. How many words do we have there? Two, three words, more than two. Mary one, go two, round three, coming together to form one word. Mary go round. It's a compound word. There is more than two. Son in law. Another good example of compound words are more than two words. Daughter in law. Mother in law. Father in law, and so forth. Okay, children, let's check this out. There's a short story on the slide, and I want us to look at the story content and figure out the compound words that are there. Yes. Let's read them. Let's, let us check out the story below and underline the compound words. My family took a trip to the beach. We saw a lifeguard. We made a big sand castle. In the river, we saw a jellyfish. And the first line, we have a compound word. And the compound word is lifeguard. You can see it, fine. The next line, you can see it's very, very obvious. Life guard is a compound word. Life is a word on its own, and the guard is another word on its own. Coming together to form a single word, life guard is a compound word. And the last one is, I want to read it now so that we can get it. We made a big sand castle. In the water, we saw a jellyfish. Now, the compound word in this sentence is what? Sand castle. Sand castle is a compound word right there in the sentence. And the last compound word we have in this short story is what? Let's take the last phrase. In the water, we saw a jellyfish. The compound word there is jellyfish. Excellent, children. I believe you have gotten a beautiful understanding on what compound words are. Before I go off the stage, I want us to have a rerun on compound words. I said compound words are words that are made up of two or more words. Examples I gave, some examples are, as I said earlier, rainfall, bedroom, classroom, Sunflower, breast milk, pipeline, school bag, etc. Children, I want you to read, watch the video, and the classwork will be sent to you. Give correct answers to your classwork and your homework. See you next time. Remain blessed.